Hi, and welcome to the Mitel Visual Workflow Manager Rad Optimization Overview Demonstration. In Mitel MCD 5.0, recorded announcement devices, or RADs, have been optimized so a single RAD can be associated to multiple queues and then broadcast to up to 50 callers in queue simultaneously. After a call is received by the IVR writing system and traveled through a call flow to the queue, RAD messages can be configured to play at programmed intervals for all callers in that queue. Up to four RAD messages can be associated with each queue. A typical RAD message may thank callers for holding and inform them of their position in queue and expected wait time. Let's take a look at how this works. We begin in your site explorer by adding a hunk group. We'll add a name for the hunk group, in this example, a sales hunk group. We'll select the hunk group type, which is RAD, enter a dialable number for the hunk group, and associate the hunk group to a media server. Next, we'll specify the ports that will be available to the Hunt Group and click Save to save the changes to the database. We'll then go ahead and add another Hunt Group to the system, this time a Support Hunt Group. We'll give the Hunt Group a name, specify the Hunt Group type, specify the dialable number, and associate the Hunt Group with a media server. We'll then specify the ports that will be available to the Hunt Group, and you'll notice that we can add the same ports that we associated to the sales hunt group moments ago. When we save the changes, they are written back to the telephone system in real time. Now, we'll open the sales queue from the queues menu in the Visual Workflow Manager pane of your site explorer. We'll browse to the 3300 ICP options form for the sales queue. We'll enter the dialable number of the hunt group and we'll click save. We'll then open the support queue Again, browse into the 3300 ICP options form of the support queue. We'll enter the dialable number of the hunt group and we'll click save. Next, we'll add a new RAD call flow. We'll give the call flow a name, expand the call flow palette, and drag a hunt group into the call flow. We'll then add a hunt group activity and configure this hunt group activity with the hunt group 7000 and 7001 for the sales and support hunt groups that we configured earlier. We'll then drag in a play activity and select the rad messages that will play for each of these hunt group branches. We'll then associate some ports with those hunt groups and save the call flow. As you can see from this example, we've dynamically used RAD ports between hunt groups and queues, which eases configuration and saves businesses money on port licensing. Using the IVR writing port sizing wizard, you can determine your exact port requirements and find out how to further benefit from RAD optimization and dynamic RAD ports. Thank you for watching this video. To find out more about Mitel IVR Reading and the Visual Workflow Manager application, visit mitel.com.